Today, I'm going to show you how to use the new Fetch API. I'm, I'm working for a couple of uh, weeks. Basically, it will help you to interact with uh, HTTP APIs uh, very easily inside Blueprints. Okay, uh, let's create a new Fetch API call. Uh, it's, a, it's a node. So I can, uh, yeah, let's type google.com because uh, we need to try something. Right, and I'm gonna connect this. I think we, we're not trying to get anything uh, useful here, but trying to show you we can talk to any HTTP API. And I'll return value, I'm trying to get the on text. Okay, and then I'm gonna create an event out of that. So when the request is completed, I'll get this event. And now we have the text content, I can simply print that. Okay, just like that. And let me increase the duration for 30 seconds so we can see it a little longer on the screen. Compile. And I'm gonna run this using Alt P. So now we can see, now we can see the HTML content on the game, which doesn't make any sense. And this is not useful, but we talk to an HTTP API, HTTP uh, URL and get something out of that. Here we have uh, a nice service called Rick in basically it's a it's a simple api server they support get apis post put you name it right now i'm trying to get a single user from this endpoint and i'm gonna try to grab the email so let uh let's click here and i can get the the ui api url uh, like this i'm gonna copy that one and uh, i'm coming here i'm gonna replace this into the fetch URL. And here I'm not interested in on text because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the JSON out of this. So no, so I'll type on JSON. Right, then I have to create another event. And then we have the JSON value. What I'm trying to do is we have the JSON value and then we need to get a object out of them. Basically we need to convert it to an object because we will get a, uh, JSON array as well from API, so we don't know we don't know that in the in the compile time, so we need to do it in the runtime. Right then we got the object, and I'm trying to get the another object because this object has another object, so it should be data inside that. So I think you can see that from this API. You can see here we got single user data, and inside that we have the email field. Right now we got the data. And I'm gonna get the email field as well. So it should be get string. Okay, and I'm gonna type email. Right then, I'm gonna connect this um, return value into the print node. And simply, I can connect the execution pin and looks good. So let me, yeah, compile this. And let's uh, save it for sure. And let's try to run that. Right now, you, as you can see, now we got the email. Right now, we talk to an actual API and get the data out of that. Now it's time to talk to an post API, so which is also quite useful to do. For that one, I'm gonna remove everything, so we don't need these things. For that one, I'm, I'm trying to use another uh, function call. About the API, uh, here we have a post request called uh, to create an, a user. So here basically you need to send a, send a payload, payload like this, and then we get a response like this. Uh, yeah, let's try to produce that. Right, let's go to the blueprint. So in this time, I'm gonna use something called fetch JSON. So this is very similar to the fetch, but uh, here it will automatically set the uh, content type headers and uh, some, some quite different things. So this is something useful. So the URL is the one we copied, as you can see here. Right, then I'm connect the execution pin, done. So then I need to get the JSON. Okay, it should be on JSON. Right, then I'm gonna create an event out of this. Okay, and I've got the JSON value and I'm gonna try to get the stringified version, try to make sure everything working. working. So first we need to get the, the object, we need to convert it in, into an object. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna stringify that one. Basically, I'm trying to like 
prettify that and I'm gonna print that okay and I'm gonna connect this and let's increase the time into 30 seconds okay we are good to go and I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna run this and as you can see uh, we got a lot of stuff oh okay I made the mistake because I'm trying to uh, talk to the get API right now so we need to connect the post request right then I'm right click on the options split and I'm gonna select the method as post right, like this and I'm gonna I need to put some option option body as well so um, so that's that's the payload so that's the one we need to put here so for that one let me create an actual JSON object and pass that into this fish JSON so it will do the the rest of the things right let's create that object for that one we have something called make JSON like this so let me grab this somewhere here so we have more freedom uh, so basically I can start with some initial JSON string and I can uh, continue to manipulate that after that should be job is yeah let's say it's dev right so now we have a decent uh, yeah initial uh, JSON and then from here I need to convert it into an object so same same rule applies because we don't know what's going on here it could be anything and now I'm going to set something into that set um, string I'm gonna set a string called name and the value should be here yeah, let's give my name I don't know right so likewise you can add more field into that and you can set strings set numbers and you name it arrays and yeah you could do a lot with this these knots and then I'm 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 converting this back into a value so JSON value so we start with the value and then now we do some modification and we again need to convert into value and I can pass that into the options body like this and yep looks good I'm gonna compile and save it so yeah should work fine right then let me write so as you can see now we can uh, see what's going on if you want to get the name is pretty straightforward from here we can simply get as uh, get a string and get the name right likewise there are many things you can do you can actually check for the response status and you can check for response headers and you can optionally pass some some headers as well authentication headers you name it and and also you can check for errors and and there are quite a lot of things you can do with this api and check the description below to see the see the, all the documentation and how to use this in your project i hope uh, this will be pretty useful for you Thank you.